In this history highlight, we will be answering two questions. Who was Edith Wilson and what did she accomplish? Edith Bollingalt Wilson. She was born October 15, 1872 in Withville, Virginia. She was a descendant of Virginia aristocracy and was the seventh among 11 children. She's also a direct descendant of the famous American Indian Pocahontas and other famous people such as Thomas Jefferson, Robert E. Lee, and many others. Her parents were Sally White and Judge William Holcomb Bowling. Edith Bowling Galt Wilson was better known as Edith Wilson. She was the second wife of the 28th President of the United States, Woodrow Wilson. She served as the First Lady from 1915 to 1921. According to White House Gov, after the President suffered a severe stroke, she pre-screened all matters of state, functionally running the executive branch of government for the remainder of Wilson's second term. Thoughtco states, when President Wilson led the U.S. into World War I, Edith worked closely with her husband by screening his mail, attending his meetings, and giving him her opinions of politicians and foreign representatives. Even Wilson's closest advisors often needed Edith's approval in order to meet with him. When Wilson suffered a massive stroke on October 2, 1919, Edith stepped up and began making decisions. She refused to make her husband resign and allow the Vice President, Thomas Riley Marshall, to take power. Edith instead took the lead and began what she would later call her one-year, five-month-long stewardship of the presidency. She is often described as America's first woman president because of the important role she played after Wilson's stroke. She is viewed as a controversial figure for her part in deciding what papers Wilson did or did not see. In her 1939 memoirs, she claims she never made a single decision regarding the disposition of public affairs. She only ever claimed power, only over deciding what was important and what was not. What did Edith Wilson accomplish during her stewardship? She stated numerous times that she never made decisions in political affairs. But many scholars have theorized that President Wilson's October 22, 1919 veto of Volstead Act, better known as the Prohibition of Alcohol, was truly his own decision or his wife's. It is also theorized that she might have not been the one making the decisions, but instead played a key role in persuading the president on what decisions he should make. She is best known for her contributions during the war. During the war, she set an example for resource conservation by practicing meatless Mondays, wheatless Wednesdays, and gasless Sundays. She is known as the first First Lady to christen warships. She volunteered for the American Red Cross and brought together the wives of cabinet members, family, and friends to publicly support the purchase of war-saving bonds, adopt soldiers overseas, sew clothing, and make bandages, and prepare items for fighting soldiers. When Woodrow Wilson's second term ended on March 4th of 1921, he moved along with his wife into a home in Washington, D.C., where Edith Wilson spent the next three years serving as his caregiver until his death on February 3rd, 1924. She spent the rest of her life promoting her husband's legacy until her death on December 28th, 1961, at the age of 89 years old. Thank you for watching. Of course, this was just a highlight of history and did not cover all of Edith Wilson's life and accomplishments, but I hope this video provided you with a glimpse of who she is and what she achieved in her lifetime. Thank you for watching. More videos coming soon. All the sources I used to make this video will be linked in the description below, so if you want to go into more in-depth about Edith Wilson and her life, uh, go in my description and click any of the links below.